Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to try my hand at lace cap hydrangeas. I hope you enjoy the video. Please help the algorithm find me by giving me a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Here's my usual palette of water mixable oils. I have titanium white, cadmium yellow, light, raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and alizarin crimson. First of all, I'm going to use raw sienna and sketch in my hydrangeas and the vase. Three is a good number. I like to paint in odd numbers. Um, that stem is a little out there too far, but that doesn't really matter. It'll all be absorbed into the painting as I go along. I'll indicate a reflection and I'm going to put in some leaves. I'll put in um, just probably three leaves. I'm mixing titanium white and French ultramarine blue and I'm going to put in the background. I'm using raw sienna and I'll add a touch of raw umber to put in a table base and you'll be able to see that through the vase that's what gives the illusion of the vase being glass. I do lose my sketched outline of the vase but that doesn't matter at this point I know where it is and I'll add that probably in white a little later on. I'll add a water line while I'm at it. I'm using sap green with a little blue mixed in there and I'm going to um, add some cadmium yellow light, raw sienna to bring it down a little bit and I'm going to do the leaves. This is just the first um, swipe of colour on the leaves. I'm using a touch of alizarin crimson and French ultramarine blue and trying to create a sort of purple colour. Um, I want to use that as um, the background, uh, which will be fairly dark, so that the little um, buds or nodules, I don't know what you call them, of the lace cap um, have something to show up against. I think this is actually a bit dark and I may change this as I go on.
I'm varying these colors a little bit. Um, I still think I might have it a, a rather too dark, but we'll see. Anything can be changed. Nothing's cast in concrete. I'm using Q-tips to dot on the um, lace cap. Um, these are cheap ones I got from the dollar store and they're not as fluffy as normal Q-tips. So I'm not sure whether this is going to work. I have to experiment. I'm putting in petals, but I'm still uncertain about those dark centers. Um, and so we'll see how it goes for a little while. I've added a little titanium white to the purple to give me a sort of pale purple or lilac. I'm not sure what that color is. And um, I'm, I'm going to put the petals on and I might change the centers, but I think um, the outside is okay once I've got the petals on. I'm just dabbing away with rough petal shapes. As I go further on and put in my lights and darks, I'll be more refined with the little florets, which are four petaled. I don't know if they make, if there is a five petaled one out there, but I always do them with four petals. I'll reinforce the stems and I try and develop my painting overall. I don't like to leave one part underdeveloped. Uh, it all becomes unbalanced uh, for me. So I work on all of the painting. For me, the light is coming from the left and the brightest part of the vase will be on the left. There will be some light on the right hand side of the painting, but the brightest area of the vase will be on the left. I'm using straight titanium now just to put in uh, petals, the little florets, putting them in much more carefully, trying to define them a little better. I've just realized that you probably can hear my 
um, dryer in the background. I forgot and put it on. I've added a little um, purple to the white for this flower, so I'll still have my brights on there, but um, it'll have some colour in it. I'm going to work on the leaves adding ultramarine blue and cad yellow light to um, the sap green and um, I'll put in some lights and darks on my leaves. I'm adding some of that green to the vase. The glass will reflect whatever is in the vase. Um, and that's what makes it look more glass-like when you get those little reflections, the little lights and darks. I'm putting a splash of light on the table. Uh, light would reflect through the vase as well onto whichever surface. I don't like those centers. I'm going to do them over again and um, just making them a little bit darker than the surrounding uh, petals and we'll see how that goes. I think that looks better already.
I'm not sure you can see me um, putting in these dots clearly. My hand is in the way, so I'm going to skip through this bit. I'm adding some bright petals to the side that, where the light comes from, um, leaving the other side of the blossom, the right side of the blossom, a little darker. Um, that gives the bloom a roundness, a fullness, if you like. So I'm using this cotton bud just to um, pop in the centers of the flowers. Not too many. Not every floret needs a center. And I can see these are a little too dark, so I'll probably go over them with a paler color. I'm going to brighten up the side of this glass vase with a white reflection. Just um, a swipe and then I'm drawing it round to make the glass bars appear rounder. So that's it really. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.